Maddie, so shall we start from the beginning? Sure. Should we, should we start from the beginning of your life story? Might as well. Uh, you're from a small town in Arkansas. Yeah. What was your upbringing like? So it's bigger now. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't like it. But growing up, I grew up um, uh, on a farm. Mm-hmm. It wasn't our farm. It was our neighbor's farm. But that's just kind of how the South worked. It was called Cabot, Arkansas. And um, I grew up with horses and dogs and cats. And those were like my my thing. And I... I loved riding horses so much. So the guy that owned it, his name was Rick, and he became like a second grandfather to me. And um, I met him when I was three. By the time I was seven, uh, when I was five, I created uh, my own twin because I wanted to ride horses more. So I learned if I would just go, because he was a really old man, I learned if I would just go home, change my clothes, put my hair in a different type of ponytail, and go back, I could ride for another lesson. Nah. Yes. And that went on for like a year because like it was it was they didn't my grandparents didn't really talk like that. It was just like, hey, I'm gonna go to the barn, yeah. hop the fence and I'd go. So finally, um, it was a breeding farm and the, the stud took out our fence. So my grandparents were talking and he said, how is my, my fake name was Melissa. He uh-huh. was like, how's how's Melissa and Maddie? And he goes, who's Melissa? And he calls me outside. He goes, what? I was like, I just wanted to ride horses more. <laughs> but it. I, It was very country and very redneck, and I loved it. That is so cute that you created like an alter ego for yourself. Yeah, I just wanted to write because you could. could, I was only allowed one lesson because it was me and his grandson. I was like, no, no, no. I love this though. I want more. Mm -hmm. So funny. You don't ride horses anymore, do you? I I try to. Um, I found a horse that um, actually through porn he was uh, just renting out his 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 ranch and mm. there's a stud who has a little bit of trauma mm. so i like a fixer upper mm. he's not rideable yet but he he he's, he's he's a good boy yeah he's trying what kind so what kind of discipline do you ride do you ride just western or i'm trained in all but i um prefer western i was a barrel trainer and mm. pole so i competed and trained horses in barrel we broke them so we would breed them raise them, break them, sell them. Wow. Mm -hmm. Have we talked about like my equestrian past? If I told you that I was an equestrian? Very, very minimal. Okay. Yeah. Because I did, I did English and I did three day eventing mostly. Yeah. My whole life. I mean, horses was my whole life. That was my personality. I was a horse girl. Yeah. Yeah. See, I didn't, it wasn't my passion. It was my mother's passion. Yeah. And if anybody knows Suze Randall, you generally do what Suze Randall says. Mm-hmm. And so for those first 18 years, I rode horses because it was her dream. And then uh, when I was old enough to go to college, I was like, fuck you. We need horses. And I haven't really been on a horse since, I'm going to be honest. Do you want to be? Nope. Nope. See, I have the opposite. Mine was like your, like your mom. Mine's a passion. Yeah. I just, I, I don't know. Yeah. They're just big and fun and powerful and I loved it I mean there was I'm not I don't regret riding horses because I I you know did a lot of shows and because I rode every day there was a lot of discipline that I got from it Mm -hmm. um and it somewhat kept me out of trouble I I still got into trouble (laughs) in high school but not as much not as much um so yeah I'm grateful for that but it's just like not what I wanted to do with my life I wanted to do other stuff but I mean you know like if I go to Hawaii I'll I'll ride a horse on the beach I mean it's 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 like riding a bike I can get right back on a horse and I'm fully confident that I could do everything I did before so I picked a stud as my first project back after a few years I'm like you know what you're 16 5 and you have trauma I want you is there, is this like, does this correlate with your dating life as well? Or is it this just specifically only horses? With, with, with going, with going back? Or just, you know, yeah. no, 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 not going back, oh. but just like <laughs> someone who needs help. Someone you yes. have to break a stud. I don't know. There's just like too many. I feel like there's coincidences. Yeah. I mean, I actually honestly don't know anything about your dating life. I don't know people you've dated so so I could be wrong but. no you're abs you're absolutely <laughs> <laughs> right um and I had this epiphany the other the other day too because like I used to go for the big meatheads like mm-hmm. the gorillas that had no brain I'm like oh come here let me let me help you let me mm-hmm. guide you in life and then like once I grew into an adult and even I don't give a shit even in my relationship through and that I've had I was like 
I like, I don't know. I don't know. I like a challenge. Mm-hmm. Not, I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, you know what? You, you're a little rough around the edges, but you know what? I have some sandpaper and a couple drills and let me just like go at it for a little while. Mm-hmm. And how has that worked out for you? Um, I'm divorced. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.